Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ra, and today we start a new series, an actual playthrough of RimWorld with a cute story to tell. Today we will be playing with Diego again, and with his lovely bandit star. The whole premise is that your group pulled off its last heist and it went wrong and now everybody wants to kill you. We can create some cute story about how these bandits robbed Ra and Co, Stew and Go or something. Uh, they stole the stew, ate it themselves and pocketed anything else they could find. This fearsome group of bandits consists of... Ember Panda, a fearsome pirate captain who totally didn't die in my last stream. Star, a renegade engineer who's basically going to be my research bitch. I mean, uh, intelligent one of the group. Uh, Khan, who is a bounty hunter. He, he's kind of useless to be honest, but he, he can do plants, I guess. And Semtex, a mercenary who's good at construction and a little bit of cooking skill there. You know, he, he's alright, I guess. So yeah, sit back and enjoy Diego's last heist. All right, so here we go. This is my small but dangerous crew of basically four idiots from my Discord, so this could be interesting. Yeah, we got quite a few random starting things. We got four bandanas, a load of silver, dynamite, a couple of revolvers, a double-barreled shotgun, a load of artwork. Oh, I think it's only two. Oh, no, it's three pieces. And some chem shine. So, yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure you guys know the drill. It's time to set up a little raw village, as we call them in the industry. Because everyone accuses me of not building anything different. And I'm like, hey, come on, man. Why do I need to build anything different when I'm already building perfection, right? I forgot we actually started with four people. So, I should probably build that guy a bedroom as well. And we start the game off with a disease straight away. Thank you so much for that, Diego. God damn it. I forgot with Arid Shrubland, we don't have uh, we don't have a lot of the superior building material, aka wood. Fortunately, guys, you're gonna have to uh, sleep on the dirt today. Well, aside from Ember Panda, he managed to make himself a bed before all of this. So, unlucky everybody else. I also forgot we start with no food, so everyone is like super hungry. No, Ember, come on, man, you're not meant to botch the harvest. There we go. Everyone's got a bed, but we're all out of food again. But don't worry, we planted like seven rice plants. We'll be fine. All right, well, it's good to know we've got a big source of limestone here. We should probably start building some stuff out of that, but wood is superior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the endless struggle of just trying to find food. Ah, mad hair. Let's see how well it does against my double-barreled shotgun, shall we? Oof. Not very well. There's got to be some more wood on this map somewhere. <gasps> There's food as well. There's food. Oh, I don't know what's more impressive, wood or food. <laughs> I do love both. Great. What a what a perfect faction name. The Purple Tree Bandits and the settlement name is Dark Pit. Uh-oh. Mad Boom Rat. Ember, get the shotgun again. <laughs> Go and shotgun some more small animals. Nice. Food, please. All these random trees. Please give me food. Oh, food. I can see it. I can smell it. We'll get started to mine our uh, last few bits of steel we need for this wooden stove. And then we... Or, or we won't. He's going to fall over because of major food poisoning. God damn it, Star. Hey, we can finally cook some food. Where are you, Semtex? Get cooking that food for me. Here we go. We're moving up in the world. We're actually producing a basic human need. The fleeing dame nearby, her guards were killed in an ambush. She escaped being followed by a man-hunting raccoon. Uh, sure, she can <laughs> keep her safe at the dark. Pit. Right, Ember Panda, you've, uh, you you've done well killing small animals with your shotgun. Let's see if you can kill another one. Oh, there we go. Easy, easy. Quest complete. That gives me the little side link thingamajiggy, I think. Title reward. There we go. Go on, Ember. You can have some magical abilities. Well, we seem to have a uh, functioning colony right now. Um, I'm surprised we haven't been raided yet, but I'm sure that's to come soon. All right, we got some cargo pods containing uh, smoke leaf butter. Okay, interesting one to send. I'm sure we can make use of that. Better news, we are also moving up into the Stone Age. We are removing all the wooden buildings. You know how annoying construction work is in the middle of the night and you just sat there like, can they shut up? Imagine trying to sleep and there's someone doing construction work on top of you. Because I'm feeling extra fancy, everyone can have a marble plant pot. I know, I know, I'm spoiling these guys. Stash in the empty hole, right? There's two man-hunting milk rats wandering nearby and an unknown threat. Uh, castle ruins. Uh, alright, let's, let's send a couple of people out. 
Have we actually got enough food? No, we don't have enough food. Uh, right, Semtex, go do some cooking. Stockpile some food, and then we'll send some people out to those castle ruins, I think. Oh, we're just going to run out of power. Come on, man. <laughs> this is why we need a battery. The struggle. The struggle. It's going to take us 0 0.3 days to get there. I've given him four meals. Uh, he better be able to... <laughs> He better be able to uh, forage himself whilst he's out there. He, he should be alright food-wise. We, we, we'll see. Because this is a highway, isn't it? So, yeah, look at him go. What a, look at him go. What, a, what an absolute man. Alright, what we got here then? Ah, oh, cool. Little little castle ruins. And two milk rats. Alright, Ember. You've shown you can murder small animals with a shotgun before. Now's your time. Ah, oh, double kill! Oh, what an absolute chad. Ah, okay. So, if you uninstall it, I think it keeps the... Uh, it keeps the wine, the process going. So what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall all of these. All right, all right, go, go, go. Uninstall, uh, no, no, uninstall, uninstall, uninstall. And we're going to see if we can take them back with us. We're stealing your wine barrels. All right, they're 10 kilos each, but we should be okay. Oh, God, a raid. Oh, no. Why do they have to raid us when our man with the shotgun's away? All right, no. Oh, that guy's got stick bombs. All right, my, my grenades versus yours. Oh, no, we better... No, no, no. No, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. All right, just shoot it. Ah, oh, he's throwing bombs. Oh, my bomb was bigger than yours. What an asshole. There we go. That's what you get. Huh? That's what you get, punk. All right, so she is actually recruitable. So, uh, recruitable? I think that's the word. Uh, so we will, uh, we'll see what we can do. Ah, welcome back, Ember Panda, to the dark pit. <laughs> we finally researched the battery. So, we get a little generator room set up there. And we'll just turn the generator on and off. Oh, ancient danger. Sorry, what? There we go. Get that fueled up. And let us have light and uh, ventilation and air conditioning. Because it's very, very hot. And people don't like it when it's very, very hot. All right. I've set all the wine barrels up in Star's room where it has the uh, air conditioning or cooler. Hopefully, we should have some beautiful wine soon. All right, we got a quest. Breaking Lily out. 23-year-old human computer. So, she's basically going to be a researcher if we do. She's also lover of bandit Semtex. Oh, god damn it. All right, so it'll take us a day to get there. So, I'll give him some food, an animal, and off you go, Ember Panda. Off on your adventures again, you son of a gun. The game so far has pretty much just been the adventures of Ember Panda. It's that time again to send everyone out to harvest all the wildlife as well. Just to make sure we don't run out of food. Oh, Ember Panda's rocked up as well. What have we got? Uh, so there's Lily. And the one enemy is uh, nowhere to be seen. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's got a... He's actually got... He's got a better shotgun than me. <laughs> oh, no. All right. We need to get a jump on this guy. If we're going to do this, we need to get the jump on him. Otherwise, we're going to have a very bad time. All right. I've got his attention by punching a door. Quick. Burden him. Now shoot him. Oh, get shot. Let's, uh, let's just give him one more for good measure. Actually, let's take his clothes off first. You shouldn't have messed with me, boy. Oh my god, you blew his head off. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> A little bit too far, but let's go over there. <laughs> right, free the prisoner. Aha, we have another person. Haha. -ha. And, it whoa, this guy had a lot of beds. Why did he have 12 beds to himself? Wait, let's steal his lamps. <laughs> that was shown for messing with us. I mean, not that we blew his head off, but stealing his lamps is definitely more insulting. You know what? I just realized something. I did something very stupid earlier. <laughs> I built the generator roof and it made the windmill irrelevant. All right, so we're getting ourselves a nice big wall built around the base. It's uh, very, very nice. We actually have some defense from all the manhunting animals that seem to run at us. Can't even pull the weapons. What have we got? Ah, oh, a granite club. Just what I wanted. Thank you so much for that, Diego. I'm sure this quest to build this monument for uh, the Empire of Eternity. Um, and I was thinking, it might be a good idea, considering... Uh, <laughs> we, we, we might not have any friends at the moment. Let's just let's put it like that. No, we, we don't have any friends. We've, have, we've got a few issues, shall we say. <laughs> but then I thought, nah, screw them. Um, we're, we're bandits. We're cool. We don't need friends. All right. Well, we just got the deserter quest. I'm tempted to take her in because obviously we're already at war with the uh, Empire of Eternal, whatever it is. Eternal. Do it. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's accept this uh, deserter in who has uh, a shotgun with EMP shells. We have, seem to have a lot of shotguns like this. Oh God! One's got a flamethrower and the other's got. A uh, small carbine. Alright, okay. Okay. 
Get some dynamite over there. Hit him up. Ooh, he's done. He's out. Now, that just leaves... Uh... Okay. Yeah, he's about to have a very bad day. That just leaves Flamethrower Boy. Okay, get back, get back. Get away, get away, get away. I'm trying to get away so he can't... Sh he's... Okay, he's going for the squirrel. But oh, shit. Okay, shoot inside my walls. All right, so we've got... We've got a few hits on him. Okay, we can. I think we can keep baiting him like this. This will be really, really good. No! Are oh, you idiot? God damn it! You just blew ourselves up. Yes, we got him. We got him. Can we, can we strip him? Can we strip him and steal his arm? Go, go, go! No, he's up. He's back up. Oh no! He's back up. Hit him again. Quick, whilst he's down, steal his armor so we can actually shoot him. Yes. Hit him. Kill him. Actually, wait. Is he worth killing, or can we actually capture him? Okay, stop shooting him. We're capturing him now. Damn. All right. All right. We, we survived. Aha! Ember Panda is now a tank. Oh, I can't get mauled by an ostrich. Can't just shoot it. Just shoot the damn ostrich. Oh, it bit his little toe off. Oh, man, that's savage. All right. We've got a raid from the Cannibal Outlaws. Another flamethrower and <laughs> sniper. Uh, okay. Quick. Let's we can deal with that guy. Get him out of the way. All right. That's him done. All right, get rid of that sniper. Not quite. Cole, before the flamethrower rocks up. Khan, what are you doing? You're in such a bad place. How much range does that have? Okay, we got plenty of space. Okay, no, screw the sniper. Screw the sniper. Oh, right, okay, he's down. He's down right now. Just got to deal. With, just got to deal with that sniper now. Good job, boys. Good job. That's the. Uh, that's those cannibal outlaws dealt with. I bet. I bet they're not even cannibals. No, they're not even cannibals. What a bunch of losers. All right, let's get stripping. Give me. Give me all your clothes. Thank you very much. We had a little bit of an instant. I uh, I looked away at the game and uh, <laughs> Semtex was getting mauled by a damn emu. God damn it. Why does this always happen? Ah, two insect hives. I I, I can do that. Sure. I can do it. Because then we can just go, hey, Ember, why don't you go pick up that flamethrower? Get toasted. <laughs> Another line of fire, please. <laughs> Stupid insects. You can't beat me. I've got a flamethrower. All right. I, I think these bugs are pretty much done because they're just going to burn now, aren't they? Ooh. Stop trying to end its suffering. It's an insect. It deserves it. There we go. Good job. Yay. We've made friends. Well, I wouldn't say we made friends. They sent us a shield belt where we have no one who has a melee weapon. So don't worry about it. <laughs> that quest is more just proving a point that using flamethrowers to kill bugs is a uh, good idea. Right, we are starting to get our first bit of cotton in, so if we can uh, make that into cloth, and then we can actually start giving people carpet finally. God, I am, I am so generous to my people. Look at that, we're moving up in the world. We've finally got some carpet. Yay. People are super happy now because they've got a decent bedroom. Oh, no, slightly impressive bedroom, sorry. We've finally got geothermal power. Finally. Ah, peace talks. The cannibal outlaws would like peace talks. Oh, let's get one faction on my side, I guess. <laughs> right? I mean, everyone else is at war with us, so we might as well try and get one person to like us. All right, there we go. That's a little bit quicker. So I've given him 2.6 days worth of food. Uh, I've also removed his armor because his armor weighed 80 kilos. So that's what was slowing him down. Ah, new recruit as well. We finally recruited that prisoner. I can't remember what he was good at. He was the guy we stole all the armor off. I know that for sure. Uh, shooting, artistic, crafting. Okay, all right. We we'll keep you in the pocket. Oh, really? Semtex and then he broke up. God damn it! That means I need to build another bedroom. You know what? They're still gonna sleep with each other. I don't care. You will still sleep to eat. <laughs> you still sleep with each other because I am not building you another room until you get back together. Big smarts from me there. I was wondering why my uh, I was still running out of power. And, uh, yeah, turns out I hadn't actually connected the uh, geothermal to the power grid yet. That will explain this issue. <laughs> All right, peace to all successfuls. Relations have improved by 66. You will learn to love each other again, damn it. <laughs> Stop being horrible and, you know, make me have to build another bedroom. You will love each other again. I'm getting out there and harvesting us some damn food again because we are running out of food. Ah, we've got a bloody raid. Get, get. Get it? Get it, bloody raid? It's, it, it's bugs, to be honest, so we better uh, better prepare ourselves. I want to shoot that little one. There we go. Is it really just these two bugs? Is that it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. It's a megapede. You've got fire arrows. Go. 
Hit it with the fire arrows. You missed. Ah, right. Let's use the advanced fire. AKA the flamethrower. All right, we've set it on fire. Oh, we've set it on fire big time. All right, run away. Run away. <laughs> run away. It's on fire. It's soaked in gasoline. All right, don't don't worry about it, boys. Just just you're going to have to just let it burn. It's 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 easier that way. <laughs> Elk and Khan are now lovers. Okay, that means sorry Lily and Semtex. You, you you you're done. They could you can go give them the room now. Then you two can go have your stupid room. No, not Khan and no 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 no. no. There, there we go. There we go. Now you can go have your single beds. Finally. Now, we also had a masterwork in the mix of that. We made some light leather pants, which are masterwork. That's cool. And if you're wondering what I'm researching, I'm going down microelectronics. Because, like I said earlier, we are at war with uh, with everyone. So, we aren't having any traders. So, that's a little problem at the moment. So, hopefully we can get microelectronics, get a little orbital trade beacon stuff set up. And then get some intergalactical trade going. We're also going to set this man up doing some uh, artwork. We might as well get some art being made it's for us to sell. Oh, another raid caravan. Uh, where's that one? Ah, oh, it's in the mountains again. I don't want to do it. I think I'm going to build a little monument in the middle of the base as well. Because, you know, we, we, we deserve one. We've, we've done really well so far. Touch wood. <laughs> right, that's microelectronics research. I'm uh, just going to pick up the drug lab just so people don't have to make drugs using the crafting spot. <laughs> Wants me to deal with a mech cluster? Ah. Uh... No, I don't think I will. Also decided that we're going to scrap the wind turbine here and we're going to build a little bar area here. Since we are technically outlaws, we should probably have like a saloon or something. Right? <laughs> I've cut down nearly every damn tree on this map just to build this little saloon. It better be worth it. I've actually got another peace talks. I'm tempted to do that one because they're a faction base just down here. So if I can get them on my side, it means I can actually do some trading. Yay! Oh, wait, we're a little bit low on food. We have people starving. Maybe we won't be sending Ember Panda out again. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get some food first, and then we'll send Ember Panda out, right? Oh, yay. Two more Granite Clubs. Thank you so much, Diego. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Oh, God damn it! Cold snap, really? All right, uh... Oh, my plants are dying now. My cotton was just about done. Come on. Why is this game being horrible to me? All I've done is be nice this game. Well, kind of. Oh, here we go, a little raid. Is it just... It's seven people. And they're using sappers, and they're all over the place. Alright. Alright, we're not really prepared for this, I've noticed. Uh, <laughs> do you want to shoot these people? Oh, there okay, you go. They're, they're retreating. Oh, there's ones mining around here. Come on. Really? Uh, okay, that's, that's, that's annoying, but sure. And uh, when they walk around the corner, shoot them. Or not. Shoot them. Shoot him. Nice. Shoot that one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Burden him. Now, run. <laughs> you can't catch me. i shoot him again. Oh, that really hurt, didn't it? Well, I think this is a good place to leave the first episode. We've built ourselves a small little hideout. We, have, we do have dying people around it. We, we, we'll deal with that eventually. Uh, and we're prepping ourselves to go and raid this uh, raid caravan over here. And we might as well swing by and hit that outpost as well. So yeah, I appreciate everyone who's made it this far. Uh, if you like, comment, subscribe on that stuff, it really does help the channel. And I will see you all again in the future.